Hey guys, it's John of Figurative Arc. We've been doing a bunch of tutorials on this free video editor. It's VSDC. And it is a free editor. It doesn't have any watermarks or trial periods or those kind of things that really drive you bananas. If you're interested in an overview of the features, you can check out my other videos. I've broken them down into different segments. This video today, it's answering a very specific question someone on the channel asked, and that is, how do I blur out something in my project? So I'm going to show you how to do that today. The process is the same whether it's an image or it's video footage. So I've got a picture of some friends here at a baseball game. And we're going to blur out one of these characters' faces. So what I've already done is I've already inserted a image into the editor. In my previous videos, I show you how to do that again. Today is not an overview. Today is just answering a specific question. So please uh, check out those other videos if you don't know how to add objects and things like that. So all I did here is I went into this drop down and I'm copying this image and now I'm going to paste it. And it's going to appear over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and click on this cropping tool. And I'm going to crop down to the face that I am interested in blurring. I'm just going to crop out this, this character's face right here. So again, I'm just cropping using the tool, getting his face. I'm going to make him a little bigger here. And then I click on OK. Now as you see, we've got a way too big face here. So I'm going to go over down here and in this properties window, it might appear, you know, on this side of the screen, it really doesn't matter. But in any case, you can move it around if it gets in your way. But I'm going to click on set original size. Because right now it's blown up his face and we don't want that. So right over here, look at this. I'm going to click on that. Now it's back down. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that face and I'm going to line it up and put it on top of the first face. That looks better. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to that and I'm going to add a blur effect. So I'm going to go into Video Effects, Blur. Now it's asking, how long do you want me to blur this out? I'm going to ask it to blur it out the entire time. Now you see that it is blurred. I can go over to the Properties window and I can increase this blur level to my desired amount of opaqueness. Now if I play this in the preview, you can kind of see there he is. That's how you blur something in your project. Now if this was a video file, it could be more challenging in the sense that if your subject is moving, then what you would have to do is you would either have to make this bigger or you would have to track their movements and have this blur for the amount of time that it is here. And then if you moved over here, then you could add another blur effect. That could get very tedious really quick. But if that's what you want to do, that's how it would work. So in any case, I hope that helps you understand you're basically putting two layers together and you're blurring one of them. So if you like how-to videos like this, please consider subscribing. And you can always comment below if there are things that you would like to see on my channel. You can also check out some of my short films as well as some of my slideshows to my artistic projects that I'm working on. So. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you here another time. Bye.